Hey guys, how are you today? Okay, so I have something a bit different today. I have this, looks like a ladle, right? I think it's a candle holder of some sort, but it either stands or it hangs. Now I've had this for probably two years, um, and I had grunged it up, a rusted, gave it the rusted look last year, I believe, um, to use it for a, a craft that I never got around to doing. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use it today. And again, it can stand on its own or it can hang. And we are going to do a candle in the middle with some greenery. So simple, cute. This is a flameless candle, flameless pillar. And you can get these everywhere. This one is Dollar Tree, I believe. But you can get them Walmart, Target. You can get them all over the place. So what I want to do actually is something a little bit different. I had this tile. This was left over from a project I did a while back. And I was thinking I'm going to cover this in the tile and just sort of give it that uplifted look. So this is the tile from Dollar Tree or Family Dollar I get them at. Um, that's where this came from. And this, like I said, it's already painted. These come in, these are actually gray when they get to you. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to overshoot a little bit just so that I have enough. And then I can cut the rest off. All right. Well, that was like a little wider on that side, but that's okay. So we're going to go in and... Um, I am going to glue this to this. Now, here's the dilemma. This is wax coated. There's wax on this. So, I don't know how well hot glue is going to stick to this. I don't, I don't know that it will. I don't think it will, actually. So, what I am going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead in with E6000 as well. So what I'm doing is matching up these lines, that line with this line, to make sure that I have it on here straight, really. So since I'm not using hot glue, because it does not work, and I knew that because I think I've tried this before, I'm going to go in with this and hope this works. I don't know if it will. I've never done this with E6000 before. But we are definitely going to find out. But, like I said, I will tack it together with the hot glue. I'll pull it tight. Again, I want to line up those lines. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Um, probably here and give it a little bit extra overlap. And then, if they're lined up properly, we'll go this way since we've got the edge here. Then I can glue the tiles together. tiles will stick to each other. So right now I'm just trimming this along this curved edge. So I think right now I'm going to go with my antique wax. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it on because it has all of these indents and stuff, and then I'll wipe it off after. Okay, so now I'm going in. And I'm just going to wipe it. Not trying to get it off. I want to keep 
some of the wax in in the little nooks and crannies in this. I'm going to go over it again with black. Not the whole thing. I'm going to age it with it. So I'm going to take my black now and before it even dries, and I'm not even going to clean my brush, I'm going to go in and um, just add here and there. Just bring out some of the definition. Like, I don't really want to wipe it, because that's going to mix the colors, and it actually turns, like, kind of gray. So that's why I'm just tamping with my with my finger. So this is pretty much the front here. So I'm going to go around these edges too. Ah, it's looking good, you guys. All right, so I need to do a little bit more over here. Get it a little darker to match this. The way I think of it, you guys, is that um, it's it's just paint. You can if if I do this and all of a sudden I'm like I really don't like that, I can paint over it. I really, you know, it's really that easy. So I'm not afraid of it. <clears throat> and I this is why I enjoy like experimenting and, and with stuff. Because it's never definite. You can always change it if you want to. That looks nice. So what I'm thinking I might actually do too is use some of my um, iced espresso to go over some of these edges. Just just a tad. And that, not even everywhere. the tiniest bit of like shimmer and I'm not doing it all over the place because I don't want to cover everything I still want the black and the brown to show through it's just one of those layers added touches all right so now I have to do this inside so I'm going to go with the wax and hopefully it will stay. I'm going to end up having to Mod Podge this on the inside because this is, this is wax and I don't know, this is a new project for me. Let's just put it that way. I don't know if it's going to stay, but I can't leave it this color. So I will paint the little flame in the middle here to do that. Alright, so I'm going to dry this. I'll put another coat of this and then add some of the black and then try to Mod Podge it and see if that will help. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty cool. It matches this outside. I think that looks really nice. We're going to let it dry. Blow drying it doesn't work because there's wax on here, so it just makes it stay wet. It's kind of useless. <laughs> so I'm got to let it air dry really. I had a fan on it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and work on this. So this is going to go here. And um, I have different types of greenery. So I really love this stuff. I got to get more of this. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I can, you know, kind of just put it in here. I'm gonna need a bigger piece of this. Let me grab another one. Let's go with almost half. Really nice. <laughs> so if we put that in here, this can go on top and I still have room to to add stuff. So let's make sure. Again, you guys know I don't attach anything until I know Nothing's glued until I know for sure what I'm doing. So I'm kind of just going around at an angle right now. It's 
make sure that fits. Yep. Definitely going to need more of these. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and add some flowers in here. Just some cream colored flowers. So we can add that. We're just trying to make texture here. We're also going to put some moss around this. So let's try some flowers. These ones I am going to go ahead and cut off and put them in individually. I'm kind of trying to stick with this, uh, these colors. I actually could do some of these leaves as well. Add more interest. helps to fill it all in. That's pretty. That actually looks really nice. Another flower under here. That is looking really pretty, you guys. So let's fix this real quick. I'm going to Mod Podge it. Alright, we got to do this carefully. So we don't want to pull off the paint. This is very white, so it's going to be a little difficult to be to tell until it's dry. But what I look for is any discoloration in the Mod Podge. Is it turning brown? Is it turning black? You know, that would indicate that it's pulling the paint off of the sides. So as far as the bottom goes, I'm just kind of dabbing. So again, I don't pull the paint. And this is going to have to air dry because, again, there is actual wax on this candle. So I only need little bits of this at a time. I'm not ripping off a whole thing of it. Because I just kind of want to tuck it in and see where I want it to go. Definitely going to go around this base. So, meaning down here. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing some on there. Do a little bit more here, kind of roll it, because I want this covered really well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this. It's dripping off, of course. Definitely use these finger protectors for this, because you will get burned. Okay, so, yep, that takes care of that. So let me trim this a little bit. Just these stray ones that are kind of popping out everywhere. So I'll fix the flowers after. So what I'm going to do is now go in this way. And I actually think I will take the flowers out for now. And then, um... I'll glue those in after. Fill that space. Alright, that will sit right there. Again, this will be glued to the bottom of that, so it shouldn't move around like this. So now, see I've got little areas like this, I want to fill those. And they're not everywhere, but enough that I can see it, so it's got to get filled. Again, in with the glue. And just fill it in. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and put in all of the greenery and flowers and I just pulled out some baby's breath to see how that would look and it actually looks really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and add this all the way around. I get this cute little filler. And 
I'm just kind of gluing it to whatever's closest to it because these are <clears throat> these are way too soft to poke into the uh, styrofoam and then when you put hot glue on them they get even softer so, just whatever is near it I'm really liking this, it's, it's nice and full it did glue the uh, styrofoam to the bottom already needed to do that to uh, so it would stop moving. <laughs> and this goes up here. That looks really pretty. Alright, I think that's it for this, guys. I think we're good. I wanted to stay with these neutral colors, and I think it looks good. This is still drying, that's why you still see the white, but it's what it'll look like for the most part. But I think this looks very pretty. And uh, it will go right up on my Etsy shop. By the time you see this, it will be there. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And click the little not notification bell. That will give you all of the um, updates, basically. Any notifications of whenever I post. So you won't miss a thing. Got lots of stuff coming, guys. So, alright, you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.